actually know what's going on here. I literally have no idea. Help. <laughs> We're, We're 20 whatever. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hello. And welcome back to 20 whatever. 20 whatever the next morning. Yeah. The morning after. <laughs> I know. I'm a, little, I'm a little bruised, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> that truth or drink got the better of us. Yeah. Yeah. Of me. Of me. The truth or drink got the better of you. The hoedown throwdown got the better of me. <laughs> I think it got the better of all three no, of us. No, the hoedown throwdown actually is what sealed the deal, I think, for me. Yeah. <laughs> so yesterday we filmed that truth or drink and then uh, Paloma and Ryan slept over and we learned the hoedown throwdown dance. Mm -hmm. It only took yeah. us three different tutorials. Yeah, and like we were doing that for like two hours, it felt it was, like. I thought it was like 30 minutes. Was it? No. It was more like two hours. I think oh I kind of, we gosh. should like check the time stamp yeah. because it, it was like a long time. And also you guys know how hard it is to learn a dance when it's like not mirrored. And so then we started off with one and then we right. found a mirrored mm -hmm. one and then we found one that like broke it down more so. And we still <laughs> never fully got it. Yeah, no. Uh, I was watching the videos back this morning and I was like, mm. is this the hoedown throwdown or is this like the hoedown like, Right. I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> Our but own I'm, spin. Yeah. So we really thought we were doing something. Yeah. So well, that's what's alcohol gives confidence. You're right. Yes. You're and right. And we were drinking tequila and vodka. Psh, tequila and vodka makes you yeah. feel like there's nothing you can do. <laughs> right. <laughs> and that right. thing is still in my head. I and woke also, up with that. Also, the videos, like the tutorials, were like filmed on a potato. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's what Steven <laughs> said when he walked in. <laughs> is this filmed on a potato? We're like, yeah. <laughs> yes. Old. Well, because it, you know what it said? In, you know how in the description it says, like, how long ago it was posted? Yeah. 14 years. 14 years oh. since the Hannah Montana movie came out. Yep. I feel old. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yep. With a ring away. <laughs> because what? Right. 14 years ago? No. That's crazy. But I, if that feels wrong also. Like, we, I just saw the Hannah Montana movie. Like, yeah. it just came out. I just had her teaching me on Disney Channel, breaking it down for me. Yeah. Right. Can, can you give Can you give the audience? Oh the, my god! Please say it, Ryan. Please. Okay. For, well, <laughs> a little, for a little context, a little context. We were watching like the old Disney Channel like tutorial or whatever, and so it was her and the choreographer. And he was like, "Okay, so do this step, this step." And then he was like, "And what's the next step?" And Miley would go, "Cut your fry." <laughs> Like I don't. It was so weird. It's one she would, syllable. Like, fry. <laughs> and she would like say everything else like pretty normal, and then it would get to the part where he was like looking at her, and she was like, <laughs> hip hop. I'm like, what are we doing here? How, how did we get here? <laughs> Every single time we're learning the dance. When Miley says country fry, Ryan goes country fry. Country fry. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I said it all night, but I could not help it. It was necessary though, and it added to it. it You're right. It, it really know? did. You're right. I don't think we would have gotten through that without your. Confra. You're right. You're right. That's what kept us going. That was our motivation. We were sweating bullets. Like oh we, were, we, it was we were hot. we worked up a sweat. Like this was not like a, oh, we like learned a little dance. Like we no, were we were taking it seriously t doing choreography yeah. in the living room. Yeah. I was having like flashbacks of being at a callback and being like, no, 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 it's too fast. Like I can't get <laughs> Right, right, right. There was a little bit of frustration. I I was like, is it right for left? But Plum was like, you're doing it wrong. I'm like, oh my God. Like it was the stakes were high. The stakes were high. So we learned the dance. <laughs> yeah. Well, kind of. <laughs> we tried. We tried. Then we went in the pool, jacuzzi. We did all that. We had some deep heart to hearts. Yes. And then we watched High School Musical 3. Which was Paloma's first time. Yeah. Yeah. Please. I have no words, honestly. But just the first three seconds, you just see the quality. Just like right. so high. The acting, the costumes, the choreography. I, I mean, everything was just elevated. I was like, okay, budget. Here we, right. here we go. And right. they brought the theatricality. They did. The production value of that movie is outstanding. So good. And it's like campy. Like yes. I want it all when they have like the big cutout set. Yeah. Yep, yep, and they yep. have uh, uh, Gabriella being like, it's Oprah calling again. again. Totally, totally. So, so good. Like, and it was just so good to like see. I mean, obviously I clearly missed the the bus on that one. Like, I'm just so glad now I finally did see it, but I do have regrets wishing that I could have seen that when I was younger because I obviously teared up like at the end when everyone came out on the stage and was just like, this is the end, you guys. And I was like, no, like, right. this, this, it felt really good. Like that was such a necessary movie. I'm not mad at it at all. It might be my favorite, honestly. Ooh. It is so good. It's yeah, really good. That was really like, I, yeah. I think the way we described it that just hit it the best is it's a good movie that's also high school musical. Like it's not just good for high school musical. Right. It's a good movie. Yeah. And then it's bonus high points, musical. high school musical. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. It, it definitely like has that. Cause you know, like high school musical one and two, like, 
not like yes we love it so like great movies but like for people other people watching it like it's bad yeah and it's, I, it's like, a decom i get it yes but like high school musical three like if you didn't know and if this was the first movie you've ever watched like from it you'd be like oh, okay like this is like good yeah it that, is yeah and there are no skips in the entire like nope. soundtrack every song's a bop. no the songs were great yep. so good what was your favorite Oh my gosh, I really don't know because everyone, I think that there were so many different numbers that brought like different elements, obviously, of the movie. Like, I'm thinking right. like Sharpay's number, and then I'm like, wait, no, but like there was other ones. And then, I mean, Troy and Gabriella's solo song too was like really nice. Like, I'm, listen, I wanted to hate it because that's right. my man. <laughs> but the girls were singing along, and I was like, this is really nice. You guys were doing the harmonies, killed it, fantastic. I think that, that, that song. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's a good one. Right I here, right now. Is that what it's? Oh no! Well, they have like the beginning. three they have songs. A few songs. They have "Can I Have This Dance?" Yep, right here, right now, yep. and then uh, what's the, the one the, in the show? Yeah. Um. How, how does that one go? Uh, you know how life can be. Yeah. Change. Change yeah. That one. Night. Yeah. Great song. I think my favorite is the prom song. Yes. Where they're all, it's a nine of on. It's a nine of on. Oh, so I good. Was really I was love that one. And and like I love how they like you said like very campy with like the cardboard cutouts of like the cars and like yeah, the other cute. students like playing the moms and like the parents and stuff. I love that. I love and then when Zach Efron comes out in the like I heart Sharpay shirt and he's like <laughs> oh my god Sharpay, yes. Sharpay. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was really funny. I like the like the comedy of that. Yeah, that was cute. Oh, uh, also like I I think I mentioned uh, Zeke. Ooh. Oh, Zeke and High School Musical three. Oh yeah, the girls made made sure to point that out. Like, I said, I said, pay attention. Pay, look, Listen, look, 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 and then she looked. <laughs> and they and didn't were give him enough screen time in this movie. It was way less. I agree. Also, why didn't he get to be in that closing scene where they're all like looking off into the distance with the marquee? He's not. I guess he wasn't important. on. He and Martha, Martha were like weren't in that there. And Kelsey wasn't on there either. I feel like Kelsey not being on there was kind of a diss. Wait, it, I don't know. but they were trying to recreate the the poster. The poster, and yes. were they in the poster? Yeah, and it was like it was like the, le- the I think that's the lead. I think that, I think that, that makes was. sense. Yeah. yeah, but Kelsey wrote the whole dang show. She did all three. She, that yeah. freaking playmaker. Well, she got the Juilliard scholarship. Though. You're right. She is the playmaker. She's the playmaker. You're right. You're so <laughs> so right. Also, even the script was way better. Yes, like the lines weren't so like okay. What, what? did Kenny Ortega? He didn't write it, right? He just directed no. He just it? directed it, but it was directed by Kenny Ortega, and he did some of the choreography too. Like he was like co choreographed it with some some other guy with that one guy who's in all the movies. Yeah. <laughs> did you guys know they were books? Like no, no. I did not know okay, they were books. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. So okay. Do we read? <laughs> Do we read it? Book club. Okay, yeah. Right, and it's just like wait. That would be kind of funny because what if it's like different? Ooh. Because I know it's like based off the movie, but like what if stuff changes? We should read it. Yeah, we should. I am trying to get into the habit of reading. Right. I do want to be a, like you mentioned, a reading girly. I do want to be a reading girly, but uh, we'll we'll talk about that another time. I'm an audiobook girly. I Okay. Because I can play it while I'm doing something and I just don't have the time right now to like, I kept wanting to read physical books and then I would like, never get to it because I wouldn't right. have the time to right. sit down and do it. But audiobook, it's like if I'm driving, skipping if I'm podcasts. folding laundry. Yeah, no, it's like a podcast. Yeah, it's podcasts. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah. I, I definitely did that during school because just I'd be reading and I'd be like, wait, I have to go back. I was not paying attention. <laughs> I was right. just listening to it. It was so much easier for me. I feel like the hard part about in my mind about like doing audiobooks and stuff is that I, I feel like I want to like not be doing other things like I kind of just want to like sit there and pay attention pay attention mm-hmm. and like be in that moment mm-hmm. you're right like if you don't have time then like you can't just sit down with a book like you gotta like people also get weirdly task. gatekeepy about audiobooks they're like it's not real reading <laughs> it's like, that's really true. yeah people, people some people are like very hard line about like audiobooks are not reading oh I didn't know. I disagree but also I'm that's a little okay. biased because I'm an audiobook girl right yeah. well I guess technically it's not it is not actually reading. You're not looking at anything. Yeah. You're listening. What's the definition of reading? Isn't reading like literally looking at b- words on a page and reading it? It could be. Or what? <laughs> <laughs> or, or listening? Yeah, that's true. Because then, then that means the that makes it's listening. Yeah, it's listening. But it's still a book. You are you are consuming the literature. The li- yeah, you're, yes. Yeah. That's 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 a big word for Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna use that. Oh, that's a big word. For Elmo. Big word for Elmo. <laughs> what is good. the word he says? Oh, at balsamic vinegar. That's a big, big word, word for Elmo. Elmo. <laughs>
Grace has watched a couple episodes of Sesame Street. I was watching it the other day, and who else but Lin Manuel Miranda walks on screen? Of no course, way. yes, I love. And that. he starts rapping about habitats, like different. He was like oh. a like a salesman for Big Bird, trying to get him to like leave <laughs> Sesame Street, like come buy property and like this habitat or this habitat. And he's like rapping. Of course, he's in a Sesame Street Iconic, bag. Right. Yeah, of course. Right. Also, it's New York, so like very much his vibe. Yeah. Oh, Sesame Street in New York. You're right. Yes. You're right. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Right? Yeah, I mean, he's been doing all the kids things lately, like the Moana. Yeah, all, wait, all yes. the, the other one. that uh, It's Moana, and then there's another one that he did. Uh, Didn't he do... Um, oh, uh, 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 Encanto. Encanto, yes. Right. yes. I was like, hello. I was, was going like, to say it's... Family Madrigal, and then I was like, nope, yes. nope, that's the song, yes. Sarah. Yes. Right, yes. right, right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's... But and there's something else, too. He does... Oh, uh, Mary Poppins. He, well, he wasn't... He didn't write them. He was in he it. He was in it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he does music for, like, a lot of, like, movies on Netflix that like I didn't even know but there was another one too that there's yep. like an animal one or something like it's like a oh 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 yeah it's not very good it's about <laughs> it's the it's a monkey I think right it's like a magic huh. monkey or something like that magic monkey I know a lot of people love to hate on Lin-Manuel Miranda yeah but I'm a big Lin-Manuel Murfanda I like not I lo- Fanda. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I love him yeah I do I feel like he's so talented at writing musicals Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he's very charismatic and like he does a lot with his platform and like I just feel like he seems like a genuinely good person yeah Yeah. like I think I would be really disappointed like more so than any other celebrity if it came out that he was like a dick yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I would feel like personally hurt yeah agree (laughs) I like him too I think it's it's fun to be like oh Lynn yes yeah Ah, okay I feel like he's in on the joke I agree I think he is he's self-aware he knows yeah Yeah. he he knows he's the what's that guy that's in every musical that what court Corbin, not Corbin, uh, James Corden. No, James, James Corden. Corbin. He's in like yeah, every it. single thing, and right. he, it's like like that, like that. Like Lin Manuel's like, oh, there's Lin Manuel again, like yeah. in another yeah. thing. And I think he just knows. He's like, I'm just the, like I'm just that's I'm, just my, it's, my I'm in my era right now. Like yeah. he's like definitely like in his Lin Manuel. Oh, Lin Manuel era, Marrera, Marrera, Marrera. But like smart on him because he really could just like stop at any point. Yeah, like yeah. he's got he's got his money. He's got his name. Like we all yeah. know what we're like. We know him. He's and a he household is name. riding that wave. Yeah. Oh, Still. as he should. Yeah. I would. Uh, yeah. What, like, where do you think, like, the Where's Waldo of movie musicals? Like, that's like him. Yes. Right? Yes. A hundred percent. He wrote some song for it or he's making a cameo. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bring it on. The musical. Well, yeah. He wrote some of that. Shut up. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, love mm-hmm. that. It's such a that? great musical. Yeah. It's like him and someone else. Like, it was like. Him and yeah, I and there's that. another one uh, called uh, no, I can't remember what. It's not Stomp. It's not Stomp, but it's like something like that. He wrote that too. What are we playing today? Oh, oh yeah, yeah we're should playing we? Again. I, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, let's just buy. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna be playing. We're not really strangers, and so for those who don't know, it's a card game, but it's like it's supposed to build your connection with people that you already know, and like build a connection with someone that you don't know, but build a stronger connection with those that you do. So I thought it would be fun for us to do and like us get to know each other deeper and also for you guys to get to know us a little bit more as well. Mm. I I love the idea of this game. It's I've, so sweet. I played it with my sister um, when she was staying with me in LA and I was like on the verge of tears like so many times because we really got to know each other and I've never had deep conversations like that with her. You know, she's 13. So like, yeah. It brings up, it seems, well, it seems like because it's our first time, me and yeah, P's first yeah. time playing it. It seems like it brings up questions that you wouldn't just normally ask in a casual conversation. Right. Right. And it also like helps you understand how people view you. Mm. Because like there's three categories. I think the first level is a perception. So a lot of the questions are like kind of like, how do you perceive me? And like, what was the first things you thought of when you saw Mm. me or met me like that, like first impression type vibes. And then the second one, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it just like kind of gets deeper and deeper. And the last one is reflection. So you kind of just reflect on everything you've learned and like they're a little bit deep. They get a little deep. So and, and we do them in order, right? Like we yes, go level one, level two, never three. Ooh, mm-hmm. yeah, this yeah. is fun. I'm yeah. excited to see what kind of questions they're gonna ask. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. So you, normally you play it with two people, but basically what we're gonna do is like one person's gonna ask and then whoever's not asking will just answer the question. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Who wants to go first? P. Yeah. <laughs> I've been volunteered. So this is level one perception of we're not really strangers. Do you think I intimidate others? Why or why not? Who am I asking? Both uh, of we us. We are both, both. going to answer. All right, ladies. Hmm. Do you I, think intimidate others? I don't think so. I think you have like a very like 
warm energy on like immediate first impression where I feel like if I met you in like a bathroom at a bar, I would immediately be like, oh my God, she was so nice. Like I, w- right. I would approach you and ask you for a tampon. Oh, good. If good, I didn't good, know you. Good, good, <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. I'm yeah. going to be honest. I have like real, I, I, I suffer from RBF, like really massive, like r- resting bitch face. So like I make a point to always be like, like to, to, to make, to smile. Cause I'm like, yeah. oh my gosh, like if you're just chilling there with your face like that girl. Yeah. <laughs> so I try to make it less, you know? <laughs> approachable so that's good I feel like no I don't think you intimidate others but I think like depending on like who's around like if you're around your friends and you're like really like like you know chatty or like going off I think like if someone is like more shy they would be like okay Mm. I like maybe you're like a lot Mm, for them mm -hmm, in that mm -hmm. and like those moments like depending on who you're around but not intimidating just maybe like She's a lot. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah, yeah. I think one way that I'm trying to reflect on, like, before I knew you and I, like, knew of you because we ran in similar circles, Mm -hmm. I thought you were a little intimidating because of how talented you were. Yeah. And I think when people are that talented, you're like, are they full of themselves? Like you kind do of they put know? Them in are a they box. a diva? Yeah, you know, because like <gasps> if someone's that talented, like sometimes they kind of get the right to be a diva, right? You know, they shouldn't be, but sometimes they are. And then yeah. you're like so the opposite of that. Like you're not <sighs> at all. Yeah, but there very much was this thing of you hear like hearing you belt at the NYA awards, right? And then being like, and also everyone else being like, oh my god, Paloma, like you're so amazing, you're this, you're that. Yeah. Yes, oh. it's like you're up. You were up on this pedestal because mm-hmm. you are mm-hmm. yeah. so talented. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's but, uh, true. Aww. Yeah, it is true. Oh, well, I'm good. I'm really glad. Good. Honestly, I don't want to so funny. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why because I'm just annoying. But like, <laughs> so I talk about like how Paloma is so talented all the time. And I'm like the diva for her. I'm like, Paloma, D- Paloma, do you know her? Yeah. Because she is so talented. Yeah. And she doesn't want to talk to you. And da, da, da. it's that's not the tea. But like, I just feel like because you're so talented and I can just be like a bitch about it. Yeah. <laughs> You know? <laughs> I got a demon in touch. I, I got it. I got it taken care of. <laughs> I love that. She's the one going around. Yeah, why are you looking at her, huh? Yeah, right, kidding. right. Someday Paloma's on tour and you're like, did you put the right peanut M&M's in her dressing room? <laughs> exactly. She, she wants blue only. <laughs> right. Take all these reds, take them out. Out. I mean, in an interview, they're like, so Paloma, you don't like, I'm like, wait, what are you talking yeah. about? They're like, right. we spoke with PR. <laughs> right. <laughs> Brian's been making all these ridiculous <laughs> yeah. demands. Yeah. And it's like only flavored bubbly she likes. <laughs> right, like right. Snacks right. That she must have hot Cheetos at yeah, all times. Right. <laughs> He's totally. the that's so funny. I'm dead. Oh, good okay. one. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Do you think I fall in love easily? Why or why not? No. No. <laughs> why? I think you're guarded. So maybe like internally you fall in love easily, but I think you wouldn't show that to another person quickly. Mm. Maybe as like a uh, like protection for yourself in your heart. Mm-hmm. Jake? Mm-hmm. You obviously know it's crazy out there. <laughs> so you yeah. got to protect yeah. your heart and I think that you're very much like y- you love love and you want love, but you're not like I'm not going to not want it if if I'm unsure, you know, like it's right. like you you are guarded, like Sierra said. So I think that there's like, listen, you got you got to give it so they like yeah. they know it's real rather than, you know, just falling in love. Like, that's not you. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, like, Ryan just being like, oh, my God, I love you now. But it's an interesting balance because you're you are open to love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think a lot of people, when you say like, are, do you fall in love easily? It's like, they're closed off to it. You're open to it. Yeah. But you're protecting yourself and your heart, which honestly I feel like is a really healthy balance. You're like, I'm not opposed to falling in love. Right. You're realistic about, but I'm going to be careful to Mm -hmm. make sure that I don't get hurt. Right. Right. Which is actually really good. (laughs) No, very smart. Yeah. And healthy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. I think like, obviously like, I mean, literally what you guys are saying like I'm very open to it but like I also like, don't want it if it's not really what I want it mm-hmm. to be yes mm-hmm. like I'm not in the business of just like being You're in relationships of, no, you are no, no, very no. very conscious of what you want yeah mm-hmm. yeah yep yep well there's that <laughs> <laughs> this literally feels like a collection plate it does like with your ties and offerings your offerings yeah. Yeah. <laughs> as a child what do you think I wanted to be <laughs> oh I, okay, a few things, I think. I think maybe a teacher or something to do with, like, like animals. Like, not a vet, but, like, what are, what are those the ones that are, like, out in the wild, like, doing things? Like, National Geographic type. Like, archaeologists? Yeah, like that. 
I feel that's like. pretty accurate. I'm, I'm yeah. really, I know. I'm really trying to think because right now I'm like Sierra. I'm like a performer. Like I cannot see you in any other light. But then I'm right. like, wait, back up. I'm, t- I'm thinking about little Sierra. Like, yeah. okay, what does she? What does she want? And I really think that I'm going to go with like Ryan's answer. What you said, like animals or like kid, like something, yeah. something very. What is that word I'm looking for? Like how you said, like just very involved, like owl yeah. in the way. Oh, not zoologist. The wild. Yeah. Zoologist. Yeah. yeah, something like that. And maybe where you're like teaching mm. or others, or like helping others, like but learn more about animals and exploring yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like exploring. I feel, I feel that energy of you, Sarah. Yeah, like totally. you love to like learn, and you're so curious. Yeah. So I think that that would be good. That's pretty close. I wanted to be a geologist, and then for a little while, I did want to be a vet, and then I realized. I want to be around animals. I don't want to see sick and injured animals. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I want to be like a zookeeper or something like that. Mm-hmm. And I, but it always was like I wanted to do something like outside, I think, mm-hmm. you know, if it wasn't performing. Mm-hmm. Right. And even still, I, whenever, you know how sometimes people are like, oh, in a different life, like what career would you be doing? I'm like, literally would not be possible in this life. But if I took like a completely different path, I feel like I would really thrive being like a nature photographer. Like being out like for months on end just to get that like perfect shot. Right. Absolutely. And I can see that from your Alaska pictures that they were like so <laughs> like no, those. Yeah. No, seriously, those nature pictures were so I was eating that up. Yeah, Loved it. No, it was great. So I you know what it. else I was watching? I don't know what I'm not really like watch like an, I'm not a nature girly. Uh, that is not my tea. <laughs> I wish it was. I'm just not for me. But I was watching something where they were doing like a documentary about like L.A. wildlife mm. and like all of the wild animals that live in like the hills yeah mm. and they like would set up like cameras and stuff and you would see like the mountain lions and all the stuff that like live there but they keep getting pushed out you know because like we keep like building things because mm. humans be humaning right 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 um <laughs> but it was crazy to see like how much wildlife is like literally right in yeah. our backyards like yeah. all the time yeah we like forget right wait where did you see this I've seen that one. I, is it on Disney? I think it's on Disney. I think Plus. it's on Disney oh, Plus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because Disney Plus has that. a yeah. bunch of National Geographic documentaries. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, and yeah, that's what I that's what I watch when I'm hungover. <laughs> like I, I'm so serious because I can't do anything, so I just watch like Disney stuff. Yeah, that's what I need right now. I'm like put on the National Geographic. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> totally. All right, P. Okay, we're still this is on level so one. fun. I I really so love fun. this game. I literally we're barely on the third one. And I'm like. Should we I do know. a part yeah. two? <laughs> I know. It's kind of fun. What compliment do you think I hear the most? Hmm. Oh, that you're, that you're so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> both. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful and talented. Beautiful and talented. I feel like there's not a person alive who could hear Paloma saying and not just be like, holy shit. No, agree. Stop it, Sarah. Yeah. You're gassing me too much. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I'm no, I agree. Gonna go red. I, Ryan knows. I actually, to be honest, I'm really, really shy about my voice. And mm. that's. Yeah. I'm. I'm. For a person who loves being on stage and singing so much and like that's obsessed with it, I'm just so shy about it because like me getting deep, not even about the card. Sorry, you guys. No, please. But it's just it's such a hard compliment to accept, actually. Like so so it's like what compliment the most? And I'm like thinking right now, like what's a compliment that I'm getting? And yes, but I think that that's the compliment that I can never take. It's Mm. like being told like you're so talented. And I'm like, you are so nice to think that. And I don't know if right. you're right because right. there's just like and yes there's so many other talented people and your talent and your beauty doesn't be taken away from anybody else or anything right. like that but there's a part of me that's just like i don't know I, no not really like you guys right like you, you're just I saying just, that to be nice is that how you kind of like yeah, take it yeah I, I do, and i don't know because i'm like paloma you've auditioned and gotten roles so why do you not think you're a- able to do i don't know yeah. it's, it's just like a personal thing and that's a compliment i do get and i think that i like struggle to accept honestly do you think it's something where because all three of us being like trained singers musical right. theater singers you hear the critiques in your head yeah mm. so you can't just hear yourself sing and go that was nice mm-hmm. right. you hear yourself and you go that was a little sharp that i scooped that note i mm-hmm. did this that vowel shape was off right i find that i'm very similar in that I mean, freaking every YouTuber's like released music, but I have I posted like one cover on YouTube like five years ago because all I hear when I sing is all the mistakes right. and the critiques that like a vocal instructor would give me. And and I'm hearing you say that, and I'm like, which is insane because you have such a beautiful voice. Yeah. Like even your speaking voice. Is, even, oh, like, yeah, beautiful. you have yeah. such a beautiful voice, and the fact that you I, more people should be hearing you sing. And I'm like, right. No, I feel the same. yeah, I feel the same. And way. we've and we've had this conversation before. I think yeah, uh, where it's just like 
your voice, your singing voice is like personal to me. So it's like, yeah, if yeah, it's yeah. not good or someone yes. perceives it as like bad or like not good, I think that that would just kill me. Yeah. <laughs> you Do know? you ever feel jealous of people who can just sing for fun? Yes. 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 Like that they, <laughs> they haven't had those years and years of like critique so that they can just sing and enjoy it and have mm. fun and not overanalyze it. Yep. Well, that's actually what I told Ryan when we were talking the same topic um, about singing. And we were just like, we love it so much. Like, why are we so hard on ourselves? And just like, we wish. And then I was like, you know, what, Ryan, I think I'm getting to a place and I'm, I'm working there where I'm like, I love to sing and I'm not going to not sing because it's not the greatest or not good or anything right. like that. And because what, I'm going to not sing because someone else. And I was like, even if I was the best singer, even when you are a great singer, there's people out there that don't think you're a good singer. And it's like, right. I, this is an ongoing conversation that I've had with Ryan where it's like, I know that I don't want to get in my own way and not sing. Like, what's the, that's the alternative, not singing. Yeah, right. And what, like, I'm not going to sing for fun. Like, no, I'm not. And so I'm working on maybe not post a video onto the internet. I don't know if I'm there yet, but I'm like, <laughs> I want to be there and I want to post that and show everyone and like uh, me, it's just going to be for you guys. <laughs> that's, right, that's right. what I can say. Send in the group chat. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to give myself permission to just be like, this is for my, for my family and my friends. And I know you guys are going to love it and I'm going to love doing it. So why not do it? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think what's given me like permission, I guess, to like enjoy singing again is just singing to grace. Yeah. Cause I'm like, oh, she's a baby. She does not care if my if this is off and this is wrong and technically incorrect yeah. because I'm singing to comfort her, mm -hmm. right. not for her to be like flat. Right. <laughs> Can you imagine Grace is like, oh, I was a little Ooh. sharp. <laughs> she starts doing her little head. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> but it's, it's, I think the first time I've really like had fun singing again, that and like my dad and my brothers play guitar. Mm -hmm. And oh, so when like, they're like playing and we're just like singing, it's like, oh, this is just like a fun family thing. Like yeah. mm. no one has, I don't have to be good. Yeah. See, I feel, I don't know what, I just think I just have problems, but my dad plays the piano and my dad loves musical theater and he's always like, sing with me, sing with me. And I'm like, uh, I will find any excuse not to, si Aww. not to sing. <gasps> With and him. you love and it's, musicals, and I and love musicals, and I playing. love singing with my dad, and I love doing that. But like recently, I just like I'm like I just can't. And then my sister will go in and like sing with him, and it's like amazing. And I'm like I'm like yeah, you're so good, <sighs> you're giving, like you're doing it. And my dad's like you should sing with me, and I'm like oh no, Ryan, my I heart's know, literally breaking right now. I know. If, if your dad asks you to sing and he's playing the piano, you have yeah. to. Sing. I know, what the I heck? know, I know. I need to because he just. I mean, obviously that's just like a moment for us to like be together and like spend together yeah. and I'm in my head like I don't want to sound bad and my dad's like I literally don't care like that's yeah. not what we're doing here and you know what I'm, I'm <laughs> overall it's just you don't need to even be the best at everything like forget right. the like the yeah. not, like you don't have to be the best at anything to be able to enjoy something so I just mm. have to keep reminding myself that I am passionate about singing and I love it <laughs> and I just got to work on like hearing that like why can't yeah. i believe right the compliment because yeah. it's know. like hobbies right like yeah i like to like i don't know do something like maybe i i don't draw but like maybe i like to draw but like i don't have to be good to enjoy it i like, love that you don't have to be good at your hobbies no yeah, yeah. just no. hobbies, just hobbies. <laughs> just yeah. for fun yeah yeah but i think that's where it gets a little bit tricky because we do like do musical theater and like right. if i could get paid for that that would be great right like mm -hmm. and it, it's right. it's it's that weird like balance of like yeah it's for fun but also it's for monies so yeah, <laughs> like, right and i have to be good in order to get the money right to get yeah. the get the role mm -hmm. yeah agreed mm. yeah dang so well all right anyways <laughs> deep you guys <laughs> me we'll have to keep telling paloma that she's talented yeah. so so that she we gotta keep, keep reminding we're you. gonna have to sing you guys that's what i think is gonna push us out mm. of this we, we've never sung maybe, together yeah maybe we should sing after this Maybe we should. We should. I think kind of thing we should. should. Oh, I'm shy. I'm, I'm all right. I can't me, do it. My throat is just yeah, a little yeah. itchy. I don't know. I'm yeah. sick. To par. I have a headache. I can't do it. <laughs> you yeah. know? Oh. We're going to have, we have to have like a karaoke or something like a, like an encouraging karaoke where. That's what yeah. I love about karaoke. Well, I feel like it's different in LA because people like try. Yeah. That's but like, yeah, I, I like love going to like a divey, divey dive bar and singing like Redneck Woman. Yeah. Like, no, <laughs> no one is expecting me to be good. <laughs> right. And I can just have fun. Right. Yeah. I yeah. know there's always like, <laughs> Ryan actually doesn't like karaoke because she's like, it stresses me. It stresses you out, right? Like, yeah. 
And I don't I don't like going with theater people. Yeah, I get that. Because they, they just try. And I'm yeah. like, this is not like a cabaret. This isn't a show. Like yes. people are drunk. Like, let's just like have a good time. Yeah. So I, I don't even participate. Like I just enjoy, I just watch. I think we need to find a karaoke song for you that is has zero technical, like even any way that you could like you can't hold a note. Mm-hmm. Right. Like it is purely for I the entertainment. Singing Party in the USA with Steven. Yes. At karaoke. <laughs> that was fantastic. You guys I would do that it. again. Yeah. That was fun. I would do that, that again. That was so funny. He was I cannot believe you got him to sing karaoke. Me too. He, I really didn't think he was going to like do it. That's like his worst nightmare. Really? And then he's up there going, I put my hands yeah. up with Ryan. I was like, I was like, Steven, I was like, come on, we got we got to do it. Like, we'll just do this one song. Like, it's fine. He was like, nah, nah, nah. I was like, bro, come on. And he I, was like, okay. Dude, I was like, that's yes. so awesome that you convinced him to do it. I, I think you could probably convince Steven to do just about anything. Okay. I feel like Steven, like, I feel like Steven is like so in his shell. And when there's people who are very extroverted and like, bring him out it kind of gives him the confidence to like do it like he he very much was like okay ryan's confident so like i'm just gonna be confident with ryan right right, right. right. like he needs someone like that okay. just just a little okay. push just yeah, like, yeah. Just, like, just like come on i'll be i'm, I'm there with you yeah. Yeah. Do it together. yeah yeah that's so funny yeah what would uh, yeah i do think i need to find like a a go-to karaoke song yeah we'll and work on it we should find a go-to karaoke song that we all sing yes. together. Yes. A good trio. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's, let's brainstorm. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll think of some. You put some in the comments yes. if you think of any. Yeah. Let Please. us know. Oh, oh, this is good. Oh, what was your first impression of me? Ooh, okay. So I first met you. Did we meet at callbacks for Les Mis or the first rehearsal? Uh, oh, the first rehearsal because I wasn't at callbacks. Right. Okay. So first rehearsal. I don't know. I I know one of my initial first impressions of you was like, oh my God, she's such a good dancer. Oh. Like, I, I don't remember when that would have been, though, because that wouldn't have been early on in the rehearsal process. Right. But I remember just being like, oh my God, she's so freaking good. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe just sometime during yeah, the rehearsal that process. You were, I just that you were a good dancer. Oh, that was like my you. first, like, so, like oh, thing that I really thought about you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. oh yeah. Oh. I know. I'm trying to think of Shit, it was so long ago. I know. In theater, <laughs> also, we were in a show together. I think right. that I was just like, oh, this girl's like crazy and funny. I like it. Yeah. And so yeah. then, and then I just kind of was always talking to you. And I think that that's just, that, that was it. I was just like, oh, I like her. You, yeah. you know, you just like meet someone, they're like, oh, I like them. They're yeah. like fun. Yeah. That's what you gave. Oh, the, love that. <laughs> that's what I intend to give. <laughs> Ooh, wild card. Think of your favorite childhood TV show of all time. On the count of three, say it out loud. One, two, three. Zaboomafoo. So I love Zaboomafoo. I love Zaboomafoo. I showed an episode of that to Grace. Does she love it? She could not have cared less. What? I was like, rude? No, Go, that's actually come rude. On. Uh, Zaboomafoo. No, Zaboomafoo goes hard. Hard. Yeah, like when that when the lemur passed away, I remember like oh, recently. Oh my God, I yeah. was so heartbroken. Like I was yeah. like, dang. It wasn't that long ago. It was like a handful of years ago. Yeah. Like, yeah. Maybe like five. Yeah. I feel like the Crap Brothers are like the unsung heroes of our generation. Yeah. Agree. Yeah. That, that was and a you show. Know they still, they still, um, they have a show. They have a show. It's y- animated. Yes. So oh. they have an animated like Zim called Mufu. Wild Crats. Mm-hmm. Cute. So sweet. That's really, I mean, I love the hell out of that show. I, I mean, uh, the, the the closet that was just always, oh, always, my God. always, yep. always, always, yep. what, 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 the boo boo <laughs> With the Crap <laughs> Brothers while walking in, in the woods one day. It's so good. It's like something strange. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. I, I do know all the lyrics. Just oh. around. The- okay. Sorry, but no, that's hey. It's a, it's a. Where you going? I don't, don't know. know. How do we get there? <laughs> Come, Come on, let's go. go. Me and you and Zabuma Foo. Love oh, that. So good. Okay, Love you that. said that's a raven. I said that's a raven. Yeah, good for one. sure, for good. sure. I mean, that was I was like a little bit older. Like that wasn't like a yeah, like I wasn't, childhood. Like a thick, yeah, 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 yeah. But still, that was like the first one that sticks out to you. Oh yeah. Yeah. I said what Full House. Oh, Full House. That's a that good one. Sh- that channel like popped right in my head. All of a sudden, it was like e- like Urkel, like all that Full House. Yeah. And all that came to my mind. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, Full House. That's a good one. My sister like loves. She, really? Like, yeah. I mean, obviously she wasn't born like when it came out, but she like binged it and then binged Fuller House. But, Ooh, ridiculous. I haven't seen Fuller House. I watched the first season yeah. and I it was, nah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like it's cute. It's cute. Yeah. Okay. It's cute. But it's it's giving cute like Netflix like nineties. It's n- nostalgia bait, yeah. which doesn't mean it's bad. Like right. it has its place. But, but right. yeah, it's nothing. It like, doesn't have like some of the base characters. Still? It's, it does all of them, all of them except, except the Olsen twins. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. Uncle Jesse? Yep. Mm-hmm. He's okay. he's not a main, so he comes like in some episodes. Oh, okay. It's mainly uh, DJ and uh, cool. Kimmy. Yep. And this other sister. What's her name? Stephanie. Stephanie. And they have Kimmy, like kids yeah, and stuff and whatever. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. okay. Cute. But like Uncle Joey comes. The mm-hmm. dad I love comes that. In, I love that. Aunt Becky. I love. Okay, cute. <laughs> Aunt cute. Becky. Yeah. Do you remember when all that stuff came out about the, the yes. college scandal? Yes. I remember all the tweets just being like, Aunt Becky. You know yeah. what happened? She basically, Wait. yeah, paid for her daughter to get into UCLA. And then, like, and then the they, pre- was like, they it, pretended like, that uh. she was a rower. So she got a rowing scholarship or like that she had like not a scholarship because I think they paid, but like a place on the rowing team. And like, that's how she got into this. And they like staged photos of her like on a rower. <laughs> they're like, they're like kind of camp. Yeah, no, it's like kind of funny. Did she go to jail? I think she did serve a little bit of time. For yeah. Or that. And the daughter was a YouTuber. Oh, and yes, she's, yeah, she's like she's, still on YouTube. Yeah, she but she like left the internet. Like she, she was on was Dancing happening. with the Stars like two seasons ago with JoJo Siwa. This is crazy information. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, but is that illegal? Yeah, to, yes, because there oh. were there it it wasn't like because there's the quote unquote like legal way to pay of like oh we donated a library and then our daughter just happened to get in but right. it was like the there was a specific coach I think on the team who had like was basically collecting money from all of these parents to like put their kids on like fake on the teams and oh yeah there's actually a really good documentary about it really yeah Uh, Stephen and I watched it I forgot what it's called but Mm. about all the it's like a it's not a documentary it's like a dramatized oh series mm -hmm. I think but about like the coach who was like getting people on these teams it's really interesting I I guess she went to jail for two months Oh, two months. Not in Becky. <laughs> served her time. She, yeah, Justice was served. <laughs> she really learned her lesson. <laughs> what does my Instagram tell you about me? Mm, I feel like I got to yeah, go take go. a look. <laughs> take a peruse. Yeah, let's take a gander. Oh I want to like approach it as if I had never, never seen, seen you it. before and mm-hmm. you were tagged on someone's story. Okay. And I would like yeah, wanted you, to see what the tea was. Yeah, yeah, you ended up just like clicking and being like, oh, who's this? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's take a look. I hope it's looking aesthetic. It's giving... Really fun, bubbly girl who lives in LA and is eats a lot, eats a lot of good food. Mm-hmm. Love it. Yeah, true. It's it's giving gr- girly girl, girly girl, friendly, approachable. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Love it. Like good. I would hit the follow button. Nice. I mean, okay. I have. I'm good. So. Good. 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 <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, me, I think I'm gonna unfollow. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's giving like food, fun, live, laugh, love. Yeah, I love that. I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> Ryan, actually, I, so I have like a, a photograph painting of like some really inspirational words and Ryan looks at it and she's like, it's giving live, laugh, love, Paloma. <laughs> like, it really is. And I'm like, why is this in here? It is not even. It is. It literally says like live, laugh, like in it the picture. It doesn't. It's like live your life to the fullest. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's what I said. <laughs> it is. It's like, and it's I, like laugh at your like mistakes or something. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it, it doesn't. Does. It doesn't. Yeah. But it is. It does have some like inspirational things, like learn from your past, look at your future. Bl- yes. Uh. And so, so Ryan, so Ryan the, the rolling. Ugh, this is very live, laugh, pull up, pull up. <laughs> And it's good. For, it's in been in your childhood bedroom. It came to the last apartment. It's in this one. I'm like, get rid of it. You know what? It's driven her life thus far. It's it's my affirmation. Every, every day, morning. Paloma wakes up and she goes, live, laugh, <laughs> love. <laughs> God. That is so yeah, funny. She does. Live, laugh, love, and then Google's. When does the pumpkin spice latte come out? God, you are so embarrassing. <laughs> it's giving chuggy millennial. Like that is, dude. I am. Very- I am so chuggy, and I love it. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I know that there are things about me that are chuggy, but I can't. I, I feel like they're a bit obscure about what like what they actually are. <laughs> like it's not like Uggs and like yes, like, but it's like I know I do have some chug in me. We're like 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 pure chug, and you're like fringe chug. Mm, yeah, like yeah. borderline yeah, chug. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Agree. Mm. And, I, and honestly, I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with that. Like we. Oh, you know what? I wonder if there's like a BuzzFeed quiz of like how chuggy are you? Like how many Bath and Body Works candles do you have? Like Ooh. we should do that. Ooh. But also how many of those body sprays do you have? Oh. oh my gosh. Well, we graduated from the sprays, I feel like. Oh, oh, whoops. <laughs> I uh, love the coconut well. one. 
Oh, right, right, Wait, right. We graduated to to, to candles but, and. Well, but you have like perfume, perfumes. Like, do you, mm. are you like a perfume girl? I am a little bit. Yeah, I have a couple of nice perfumes that I yeah, like. Yeah, I I feel like that when I first got like really got into, I was like, oh, this is like very grown of me to mm-hmm. like get a perfume, not a body spray. Yeah, yeah, a perfume. Which, by the way, I did just buy one that is smells so good by Glossier. It's like the only perfume Ooh. they have. It smells so good, and I've oh, gotten yeah. so many compliments on it. And I've I had it, like, that one times. for a while, and I loved it. You right. you like Glossier though. I, I feel do like, like Glossier a lot. Yeah. yeah, they smell so good. It Even just that smells lotion. like clean. Oh yeah, love it. And, um, and maybe it's like a like makeup journey, whatever. Like that, have they have like clean like I that's chill, so like makeup. I was just telling Ryan and Paloma, I'm trying to find like a light makeup routine that feels like not too far from when I'm not wearing makeup because I don't want it to be like such a drastic difference of wearing makeup, not wearing makeup. Mm-hmm. And I've gotten quite a few Glossier products, and I love them. Yeah. That, I they have a, a liquid blush too, like mm. a, a, I think it's called like a blush tint or something. That's really cute and it's like very light, and natural looking. I'm all for the liquid blushes. I just got the Rare Beauty and I love it. I think mm. I'm gonna buy more. I have the Merit <laughs> Beauty one and I just used it for the first time oh. yesterday and I really like it. I got I don't know I have one too and I can't remember where it's from, but it was like cheap because I was like I don't really know how I feel. I love blush. Yeah, but like you know, with the complexion and stuff, like it's hard to find like the like where mm-hmm. it will actually like right. show up mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so sometimes i end up using like even eyeshadow i've oh. heard that a lot of people do that mm-hmm. I used, the, the pigment is better yeah oh. i used to use eyeshadow for my eyebrows in mm, college me too. Oh, yeah. but it was not a good look <laughs> no yeah, <laughs> yeah but i was, was literally just in uh, my last vlog i was talking about how i wanted to do like the feathered brow mm-hmm. like i've really been seeing that a lot and i really want to get into it but like i come from like block brows mm. like literally like the thick Thick brows, like 26, like 2014, 2016, like that was my jam. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to get away from that because <laughs> I really want to do the feathered brow look, but I'm just, I'm not there yet. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're in level two now. <gasps> Ooh. Level two is connection. Okay. Ooh. This is at the both of you. Right. What is a dream you've let go of? That's it's deep. Hard. I don't know. <laughs> That's really deep. I think the the biggest lifelong dream that I let go of was like trying to be on Broadway. I think that because that was always like the end goal, the dream, yeah. the what the light at the end of the tunnel that I'm working towards. Mm-hmm. And even when I started YouTube, it was like, oh, I'm I'm starting this as a hobby. And then maybe if I like gain some sort of following, I can use that as like an extra like leg up for like getting a role. Mm-hmm. Right. And I think once I realized where where I wanted my life to go and that moving to New York and going to cattle calls all day did not fit into that life that I actually wanted. Mm. But letting go of that when that's like the thing you've been working towards your whole life is hard. Yeah. And and one of the things that I do love about theater is that you can do it at any age. It's not like sports where you like age out, you know, right. when you're 30. Like I can... I I could be on Broadway when I'm 70 yeah. in like some like older role, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. And so I think I've given up on it now, but I haven't given up on my love for theater. But I've right. given up on the like, I want to be a Broadway star. Right. Honestly, that's my same answer. I, I completely, because I used to think that I wanted to be on Broadway. I was like, because that's what they tell us. That's like, that's like the biggest platform that of you course. can be on as like a theater performer. So I was like, yep, that's what I want to do. And then finally, as I kept doing theater and like still loved it, everything. But what I found was I was doing I did Spring Awakening for it was like almost two months. And then I found that the run was just too long for me. Like just it was too much of the same. And I preferred doing other kind of scripts, like more like TV. So they could could change, you know, it's like same plot, same cast, same stuff, but we're doing something different. Like we're not saying the same thing over and over. And I felt like the rep, the rep, the repetition of it all, the repetitiveness of it and the strain on my body, like just hitting my knees every two, like I was younger too. So, and now that I'm older, I like tell a girl, Ryan, I'm like, I don't know how I could be on Broadway. Like in like a run, like over, over six months, like my body is, ex- I, I see like Broadway performers right now say like their body is so exhausted. And I'm like, I, is my body like too old to, to, to Broadway and dance like that? Because it's so, it takes such a toll on your body. Yeah. I you mean, know? eight shows a week for it's, like a year contract. Yeah. yeah. And that's not like, cause I think a, a lot of the times it's like, oh, you're working that hard so that you can get to the place 
where it's more relaxed. But like that is the place you made it. Yeah. yeah. That's like the best case scenario is yeah. that you got a year contract for a show. Right. And are doing eight shows a week. And that's yeah. what I realized. I was like, I'm fighting. I would be fighting for something that I'm like, I don't even think I could would want to do. Like right. it, in theory, yes, I want to dance and be on a huge platform, but I don't want to do the same show every single day, eight times. Like, go oh God. Right. I mean, during Legally Blonde, I was dying. Like I was exhausted. I would not come out after. I was just, I couldn't even eat certain things and stuff like that to watch my body, like my vote, like my throat, like milk yeah. and stuff like that. So it's just your life is very restricted and I couldn't like be loud because like, right. I hurt my yeah. throat. Like, and we would, yeah, I, mean, I remember like we would be like, oh, we're going out and to do this and that. And, like going to go drink or whatever. And you're like, have fun. I have to go to bed. Like because I can't I, we, do any of that. We have two shows tomorrow. Yeah. 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 I think like I, I know that I asked the question. So um, I want you to answer yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's the same except I haven't let it go. Good. Mm. I, well, I'm glad you haven't. Yeah. Me too, but I just realistically, I it's it's not, and I know that, and but I still have a hard time admitting that, mm. and not like I f- I feel like in my head I'm like I know that like that's really probably not going to be the T, and I'm probably not going to make it to Broadway or do that whole thing, but to like really say that and like move away from that feels like I'm letting myself down and like everything that I've ever done in my entire life like then why did I even do any of that? And like, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Obviously I love theater and I, and I will continue to do it. And I enjoy, you know, even if it's like community theater or whatever, like I have a great time doing that and I don't want to stop doing that. But to be like, Oh yeah, like I'm not working towards like Broadway anymore. Like, and I'm like, and my parents say, they're like, Oh yeah, like she's going to be, she's going to be on Broadway one day. And like, and Mm -hmm. my siblings too are very like encouraging of that. And then for me to be like, no, I, I, I actually like, can't Mm -hmm. or like i just don't think that that's going to be the tea right you know like the ice yeah so i haven't let it go don't (laughs) one of us needs to keep going don't Uh. don't and and here's the thing we're just all three gonna be on but it's gonna be a short contract we're just gonna do like that get cameron dallas thing where he just (laughs) he just showed up on me and girls for like a month yep contract and then then we're out out. and then we're out okay (laughs) but it's so funny that you said that about like when you first started YouTube, like, oh yeah, I'm a, maybe I'll gain a following and that's gonna like catapult me because we've talked about that too. Like maybe this, like, you know, growing our socials and doing all of this will give us opportunities. Like we were talking, like Cameron Dallas and Addison Ray and all those people who are like doing the things that we want to do because they have a huge following. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I mean, if if a Broadway show approached me now, I was like, hey, do you want to do a promotional thing? Literally. Bags packed. Yeah, bags packed <laughs> right. on the plane. Right. Let's go. Exactly. Yeah. But I don't, Necess- I don't deserve that just on the talent mm-hmm. side. Right. There are people way more talented than me working, working, actively working towards that goal. Right. Yeah. But there is that aspect of having a following in social media where you're like, well, th- maybe that maybe they're going to want someone who has that. You right. Know? Right. Yeah. And maybe I can use that. And they do. Like, we've been in auditions where they're like, what's your, so- what, what, what kind of following Socials, you got? Fall- you should show me your Instagram. There's wow. auditions now, like, uh, TV that if I don't have a certain amount of following, I'm not in the room. Right. Wow. Like, you have to, like, actors now, a lot is, like, you're following. Like, let me see your socials. Let me see your TikTok. Let me see this, that, and the fourth. Oh, okay. So you have following. Like, you're probably more likely to get cast. Yeah. Isn't that so interesting? Because I feel like when we were, like, in high school, early college, it was like, don't post yourself on the internet. Yep. Don't post yourself singing. Don't post yourself doing auditions. Yep. Like you you can't do that because I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't, but, I don't but it was very why. like that. I know. I, yeah, yeah. I remember. And now it's like if you're not on the internet, are you even like a person? Yeah. Yep. Do you even like do anything? Well, that was the other thing we were thinking too. We were like, well, they're going to go on our socials and like I don't have singing videos. I don't have me doing anything. Yeah. But like posing for pictures mm-hmm. and like being an idiot on TikTok. Like I don't have. Well, that's where we're like, maybe we got to start singing, you guys. Yeah. I know. I just got to get out of my own dang way. I'm scared. <laughs> so uh. that they can approach us for the revival of Legally Blonde. You're, You're right. right. You're and right. Then, and then when we do get cast, they can't be mad like Cameron Dallas and Ashley, right? And be like, they didn't deserve it. Be like, we've been doing this our whole lives. And that's yes. T2, Sierra. It's not right. like where we feel like, oh, you don't, you probably don't deserve it. I said, um, yeah, we I do. Said, check the See, I said, check, yeah, check the receipts. <laughs> How long have we been doing theater for? Right, you know, it's not right, like we're, right. we don't know what we're doing. Cameron Dallas, I'm so sorry. That yeah. was bad. We're so sorry, Cameron Dallas. Yeah, they, they well, should, they shouldn't have done that to you, though. Yeah, it's not his fault. We've said this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. And, and I was going to say, and he probably was like, hell yeah, like, let me do this. And he right. got to be on Broadway. Right. But right. was not his dream 
No. no. Did no. he save all those all that money going, I'm just gonna get my Laducas and then I'll finally make it? No. Not the Laducas. No, the Laducas. Okay. <laughs> facts i feel like there really is and i don't know if it's just like the delusion of like theater kids but there really is something about like and then if if i can just get this like one like teacher to like work with this one teacher then then i will really be able to like do this thing yeah but it's like it's not going to be just this one thing. Yeah, I, just, I mean, I remember begging my mom, right? It was always one thing of, you have to drive me to like, can you please drive me to this audition in LA? This is going to be it. Or right. this v- vocal instructor who's an hour away or the Laducas or, you know, whatever it was. Like there was always something that we convinced ourselves like, but that's that's all I'm missing. That's, that's the what ticket. they have that I don't. Yeah. Uh, Master so classes. Much- had a chokehold oh. on me. Yes. I was like, if I can just do this masterclass because so-and-so so from whatever Broadway show, Ensemble Tree Number 5, is going to be like leading this thing. And, and yeah. then they're going to recognize my talent and call up the director immediately. Yep. Call yep. up Stephen Sondheim himself. Literally. And like <laughs> masterclasses are great. And like if you do theater, like you should do them and they're like super helpful. But like they really, like I don't know if it was just like also like our teachers or like our instructors like pushing this like these master classes are going to like change your life. Like, I don't know <laughs> yeah. what that was about, but they, they had a choke hold on me. I was like, I have to go. Yeah. This is how it get discovered. Yeah. Well, I mean, I me mean, just talking a little shade. It's probably because like all the old like Broadway stars, they're like, well, we got to still teach now. So that's and why they make so, money. That's why there's so many master classes because it's like the ex person from Mean Girls, the ex person from Darren Van Hans and the ex person. Right. Yeah. And, the, and the, it just goes on and on and on, you know? And right. They're like, you know, they're like, we've done my Broadway thing. Let let me do some master classes. So, right. so they're just feeding us master classes. Right. <laughs> just shoving them down there. Here you go. Ooh, okay. Do you think the image you have of yourself matches the image that other people have for you? Like the way that you see yourself, is that the same that other people see you? Um, yes and no. I feel like for the most part, I think I I think people how people see me is how I am, but I think I'm much softer and kinder and just like more silly Mm -hmm. than people think I am. I feel like I like the way I come across is more just like, oh, you know, like confident, like we said before, like very confident and like headstrong or whatever. But like once you get to know me, I'm like just I just a clown. Like, yeah, I'm just here to like LOL and like live, laugh, love. (laughs) And like smile and stuff. Like that's all I'm here to. I'm just here to yeah. have a good time. Yeah. Like you are. Like I think. Right. I think you're equal parts goofball and bad bitch. But the, <laughs> the bad bitch is what people see first. Right. So maybe it's the initial perception is less accurate. But the pe- once they see the goofball, yeah. Then it's like, oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's good. Well, I think for me that my perception also matches what you guys see. Like the bubbly like energetic golden retriever vibe <laughs> yeah i think that that's it matches yeah yeah I, but i also think you're more philosophical than people think you are like oh. you have like we have like deep conversations about like really like a, like a wide variety of things all the time and i don't think that like that's something that people would automatically like be able to see mm, about you until they like that. really talk to you I'm I'm sure because they probably just think that I'm just like a right. which, which true, but right. I also love deep conversation. Like, you love like a conversation, I yeah. love just knowing, like, what do you think about that? And like, yeah, and dissecting things, and, and dissecting like, things, mm-hmm. and just yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, how how can I tell people that I'm down to have deep talk, deep, deep talks, and not no pull out this game? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah good like, idea. So, uh. Yes. So anyways, this philosophical question. That yeah. I'm gonna ask right. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. What title would you give this chapter in your life? Oh, Ooh. that's good. That is a really good one. I don't know. Wh- I don't know how accurate this is, but the first thing that came into my mind was finally thriving. Oh. I feel like for a really long time, it was like I at first it was like I was really like just barely keeping my head above water with like mental health and stuff in high school. And into my like later teens and even early 20s. And then like it was it felt for a while like I was all I, after I fixed that, it was like I was always chasing the next thing. Like mm-hmm. my I just once my YouTube channel takes off, just once I finish school, just once I get married, just once like it was always that. And I feel like now I'm finally just kind of settled in to where I am. And like 
enjoying my life mm. and um, giving myself permission to just exist mm-hmm. and to enjoy things and to not to not always be rushing to what's next. Mm. Mm. When do you think this chapter started? Mm, uh, probably after Grace left the newborn phase. Okay. I think after she was about three or four months old, mm. I really kind of settled into myself. I also really reevaluated my priorities in a way that I think motherhood kind of forced me to do, mm-hmm. to be like, what do I actually care about? What do, What actually matters? And like, reassessing my priorities and even things like deciding to step away from the main channel for a while and mm-hmm. to scale that back a lot. I think I I had been holding on to that for a really long time because it was like, this is what people expect of me. Mm-hmm. Right. And then I think realizing that like I'm putting so much time and energy into this thing that like I am not really enjoying doing anymore and I don't need to do mm-hmm. just because I'm afraid of like disappointing people. But as like surface as, as like cliches this is like you really do only have one life mm-hmm. right and like do i really want to spend this amount of time on this thing that is not bringing me joy and is taking me away from other things that i'm more passionate about whether it be my personal life and having more time with grace or even like bringing the podcast back right like i didn't have i didn't have time to do this really mm-hmm. and and i get so much out of this and I'm so glad that we did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I think it's just finally getting into that that space where I'm giving myself permission to just make my own priorities purely for me and my happiness and my life and my family. Mm. That was so Damn. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And and congratulations. That's so yeah. nice to hear and just to know that you are like thriving, you know, yeah. like con- like that just feels so good. I'm so happy for you. Me too. Thank you. And it's so you. easy to just like keep doing what you've been doing and yeah. like keep doing what what has been like working right yeah. for you and like like you said, like people expect that of you. Yeah. So it's just it's just easy to just keep doing what you've been doing, whether you're happy or not. Yeah, I think I was just on the hamster wheel. Keep going, keep going, keep yeah. going. This is what I'm supposed to do, and then also feeling like. This was my dream. And also this is so many other people's dreams. Mm -hmm. And so how dare I walk away? How dare I not appreciate it? But at the end of the day, like it can, it was my dream to like do the main channel full time and post two videos a week and grind, 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 hustle, hustle, hustle. And that was, and it's not now. And both of those things can coexist. Right. 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 Different chapter, baby. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Um, I think, that I would call this chapter of my life like the discovery phase. Mm. Because I think I thought I knew what I wanted in life and I thought I knew like, I thought I knew myself more than I actually did. Mm. And now I feel like I'm kind of relearning a lot of things and like kind of reparenting myself and really trying to figure out what my priorities are in life and what I feel like is important. Mm. Cause I, I don't really know right now. Like I'm really trying to like look at all of the areas in my life. Like, okay, my relationships, this is what I need for my relationships. This is what I need for like my work life balance. Like all those things. I'm like discovering all of that now. And it's been kind of fun. It's been a little stressful to like try to figure all of it out and kind of feel like I'm just in limbo, like just living and Mm -hmm. I don't really know like what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But it's been fun finding things that are important to me that I can be like, this is important. I really care about this thing. And I can put my, I can put efforts into this thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, yeah. The discovery phase is fun. also that reminds me of uh, Real Housewives of Potomac. Where, uh, <laughs> remember oh. when Giselle was like, Giselle was asking Karen about her uh, business or whatever. <laughs> and Karen was like, well, you know, I'm in the discovery phase. And she's like, what does that mean? She's like, I- I'm discovering. Uh, yeah, yeah, she uh, hasn't done anything. Yeah, she hasn't done anything. She's just discovering. She's just discovering. <laughs> her, she's like, well, what's the brand? She's like, I'm in the discovery phase. She goes, I guess she's discovering what her brand is. And I was like, <laughs> very that. But anyway, yeah. I love. love that. The discovery phase. This is a wild card. Oh. All players write the three most important things in life to you. Compare. Mm. Maybe we don't have to write it. We just, just say, say it. it. Okay. Or we, mm. yeah. Three most important things in life to you. You know what's so interesting about that question? Literally three or four nights ago, I was reading a book about like reassessing your priorities. Like reading or listening? Listening. Ah. Right. I was listening. <laughs> I was listening to a book and it was talking about making sure that your actions line up with your priorities. 
Mm. And I thought that was really interesting because I think, again, with that like hamster wheel, a lot of the times we just do things without thinking about like, okay, what is, is this actually a priority for me? And I wrote down, I think in my phone, like my top priorities in life. Mm. Oh my gosh. And so I have to find it. If you guys want to go. Yeah. Mine, I think the top three things that are like the most important to me are like happiness, whatever that means for you or whatever, happiness, um, being true and authentic to yourself, like being who you really are. Um, and then relationships, platonic, romantic, all of that, familial, just strong relationships. Mm -hmm. I feel like those are all really good things to like prioritize in your life. Like those are all things that are not like temporary, right? Those are all things that will be part of who you are your entire life. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's so deep. <laughs> I think that honestly, they kind of sound like yours, but in different words, just like love. I think that that is, I, just giving and receiving love. That's all I want in this life, honestly. Right. That's just a big thing. And having a, and laughing and just, I'm really about to say live, laugh, love again. <laughs> um, and, 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 and like you said, happiness. <laughs> Living, laughing, and loving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get that shit tattooed on me. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, at this point. And, and like, like you said, like happiness, laugh, like laugh, like just really, I just wanna, I wanna laugh because life is so it's so funny sometimes it's like yeah. you, all you can do is laugh and it's just yep. it, I don't want to take life too seriously because like Sierra said there it, it, it as cliche is like yeah, I have one life and so I just want to love laugh and just experience everything that I can right. which in is living your life. <laughs> yeah, in my life Good grief. what else can living, I say I mean, no, right. I mean there's nothing but else that's, is, there's nothing else important true. to me there's yeah. nothing else that I care about truly yeah. I just that's all I want and yeah. just have a good time while I'm here and just love as many people and oh maybe maybe that third one would be like me uh, feeling like I I don't know I, I just, just just feeling like I made a difference in at least one person's life. Yeah. Right. That that that's a good one. You okay. made a difference in my life. Stop. You made a difference in like a lot of people's oh. lives. So like that's already like <laughs> check check that box. That's true. No. I mean look yeah, I mean you could look at the comments and and for the podcast and like look in your DMs and you cut know. Cut the tape, cut the tape. I'm crying. Cut the <laughs> tape. You know. But yeah. it's true and I feel like it's it this is a really unique situation to be in because people don't really tell you if you have like a regular job you know whatever like like a traditional job you people don't really tell you like you've really impacted my life and you change like i've never thought about this this way and i really felt like but like this is a very unique experience where we get to hear you know how people really feel about us and it's like our stories like really mean things to mm -hmm. people and yeah you know it's nice to you get reminded right that like your stories in your life do can make a difference for other people, whether you are directly speaking to them or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> oh, P. <laughs> oh, Sierra. Okay. <laughs> She'll so, clean herself yeah, up. Yeah, I, was like, I was like, I can't keep talking. I need the tissues for this episode. <laughs> so I wrote down my, so what the question was the most important things in your life. Yes. Okay. I put number one, Grace. Specifically, raising a happy, well-adjusted child and using this time in my life to cultivate a good relationship with her that will last a lifetime. Wow. So like setting wow. her up for success in her life, right? Giving her like a firm foundation of a childhood. Yeah. And hopefully setting up our relationship so that the rest of our lives we can grow together. Yeah. Right. Um, and then second, I put Steven. At having a happy marriage that lasts for the rest of our lives. And then, um, well, I guess I have four things on here, but um, <laughs> I want to no, hear no, them yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, I want to yeah. hear it. Um, I said being, being happy, mm -hmm. enjoying my life and being a fun, vibrant person without feeling I need to temper down who I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's something that I do a lot of like, you're talking about, you know, am I too much or are you just not enough? Yeah. I think I... I am embarrassed when people point out that I am so loud and over the top. And so I feel the need to dial that back. And I want to get to a point where I can just be the vibrant person that I am without feeling like I need to dial it back yeah. for the comfort of other people. Mm -hmm. I feel that deeply in my bones. Yeah. Um, and then the last thing I said was 
creating joy in the moment for myself and those around me, Mm -hmm. creating Mm -hmm. meaning and not just building a legacy. I think we focus a lot on the future. I think especially with like my channel, right? I focus a lot on like the long term, the body of work, the legacy, the impact instead of like the moment to moment. Like people are listening to us talk right now. Mm -hmm. And instead of like what is my entire channel, my entire body of work, what is this moment? And Mm -hmm. just creating joy and meaning in that moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Instead of always thinking about the big picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. Those are really good. I feel like we could all, I think everybody could benefit from like really sitting down with themselves and thinking like what is truly important and get as specific as those things. Because yeah, I was like, yeah, she was like live, laugh, love, obviously in more words, but like I'm sure that you could be like really specific on those things and that could like really impact how you live your day-to-day life. And that's what I'm trying to do is with those, those four priorities that I wrote down when I'm making decisions about my life deciding does this fit into any of these four priorities no then why am i doing it yeah Mm -hmm. is it making me happy is it for grace is it for steven is it creating joy in the moment for the people around me yeah if it's not why am i doing it yeah right that's so good i think i'm like gonna do that like when i get back you should yeah you should this is really good, you guys. I'm so good. Ugh, another therapy session. I know. Yeah. Uh, totally. <laughs> Whose turn is it? Uh, is I, it? I think I... Wait. Is it your turn or is it my oh, turn? Oh, no. I, I okay. pulled the, the, the wild important card. things. Okay. Yeah. When you're asked how you are, how often do you answer truthfully? Never. Never. How you really? Doing? Well, actually, let me re-say that because I feel it like when people ask you... Yeah. I was just going to say, it depends because if people are like, how are you doing? I'm like, oh, yeah. Good. How are you? And I think that that's a problem. Like, you kind of just say it yeah. to go. But if people are like, oh, how are you doing? Like, I usually will open up if I feel comfortable to w- and let them into what I'm actually going through, I think. Never. Really? Mm-mm. Unless you're asking. Like, it really depends on who's asking me. I feel like if someone says, how are you? In that tone, I great. How are you? Fine. How are you? If someone says, how have you been? Like, you're catching up. Then I get a little bit more truthful about, like, the specifics of what's been going on in my headspace. Right. I just, I I feel like I'm often not well. Like, I'm fine. I'm fine. Right. But, like, not actually. But I don't feel the need to, like, explain that or go into that. Or I don't feel like, like, sometimes it's, like, a lot, right, to, like, explain that. And I just feel like, bur- like, I don't want to be a burden on, like, or bring the mood down or any of that. Like, especially if, I'm around people who just know me as like part like we're here to like kick it and have a good mm-hmm. time and like party. I'm not trying to be like, yeah, no, I'm like literally depressed. So like, LOL, like, right. and I would just rather not. Mm-hmm. So I am always like, oh, yeah, no, I'm good. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> How many times have we said live, laugh, love in this episode? Let's calculate. Yeah, no, probably not ever. Yeah. So follow up question. How are you really? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I am. I think I am doing well. Good. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I I think because I've been um, able to do things that I really care about. I have a hard time doing things I don't care about and it feeling like I'm okay because I just get so frustrated and like bored and stuff. And that has boredom is really rough for me. But I've been able to spend time with my sister and I've been like, you know, L- in L.A., like my apartment. And I've been hanging out with you guys and spending a lot of time doing things that I really care about. Mm-hmm. And those things make me really happy. Right. So I'm doing well. Good. Doing good. Love that. I love that. I'm really glad to hear that. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm honored to be a part of you doing good. Yes, Aww. yes, yes. You guys make, I was so excited to come and film. Like, yeah. I was like, I can't, I, when, what day is it? Yeah. I need to go. I'm <laughs> yeah. ready to film this podcast. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. All right, you guys, we are doing level three, which is Oof. reflection. Why do you think we met? Ooh. I I think p- specifically Paloma and I meeting at Big Bear was fate. Mm-hmm. I think the way that all shook out with like, she wasn't going to be your plus one. Right. It was v- like, you just happened to be free. Like, and then everything fell in place so perfectly for the podcast. I think that was fate i think yeah. we met yeah so that we could do this together agree. i completely agree yeah. yeah 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 we 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 met so so we can take over the world yeah you know like that <laughs> exactly. really is what happened yeah like, yeah wow okay sorry this was not mine to answer go on no right right <laughs> and i think i think we all kind of as a group met came together yes for the podcast 
But I also think we all really needed each other in very different ways. Mm -hmm. And I think the podcast is kind of like a microcosm of that. We see the ways like that we all kind of needed each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Agree. I think you and I met and I guess as selfish as this sounds like, I feel like I needed the encouraging voice that you have. Like you were like probably the most encouraging person in my life right now. Like I feel like I can literally accomplish anything after speaking to you. And it's so like, it's so fueling. I'm like, right. Like, well, Sierra said I could like, I could do this. Like I could do anything. That's like, like anything. literally that making was me so cry. Beautiful. That's like yeah. that's so so nice because like I truly just I believe in you so much and like I see just so much potential for you and then also like everything that you've been through and just how strong of a person that's made you and like I just want I want to see you succeed honestly like more than I want to see myself succeed because I just think you're so deserving. And like I've I <laughs> Oh god like I've never oh <laughs> I've never met someone who I think is so deserving of like a platform. And like that was oh my god. <laughs> that was honestly like the big one of the biggest reasons I wanted to bring the podcast back because I was like, I have been given this gift of like a platform and an audience who like wants to listen and hear someone who has like so much to say and like such a powerful voice and powerful perspective and like I think like the world like needs to hear that. And like even like I meet people all the time now who tell me like how much you specifically like and finding you through the podcast has like changed them and their lives. And I think like you and I met because pe- people like needed to hear you. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love you so oh, much. I love you too. <laughs> no, so it's about to get uh um. Uh, yeah, good luck to you. <laughs> this is um, so not okay. I'm not okay. <laughs> I'm just like watching this love well, fest. Well, you're not okay. Um, I think we met because I, I don't think uh, as dramatic as it sounds, I, I don't think I would have survived like any of the things that I went through without you. Like every single hard thing that has happened in my life, you were there for. And <laughs> I just wouldn't have been able to get through it. You're always right. Love you, bro. I love you. <laughs> always love you, babe. Uh, what the hell's going on? <laughs> oh. We play board games. We cry. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh god. I mean, like you and Paloma have like you. You guys are like family. Yeah. yeah. To each other, like that. You. It is beyond. Like when people are like, "Oh, we're so close. We're like sisters." Like no, it is like a different level mm-hmm. with what you guys have like helped each other through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. It's like it's kind of sad that like it, like it's great, and I'm glad that we have to. But like the things that we've like gone through, like it just like it sucks. But like thank God, because not everybody has like not everybody has a Paloma. Yeah, you know, not everybody has someone that really, really loves and cares about you, and like will literally do anything. Like I, we talked about, this, like if I killed somebody, I'm like I know that she would be <laughs> like, well. <laughs> Where well, we hiding the body? Gotta go to Home Depot, get a shovel. Get a shovel. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh it's my. giving ride or die. Yeah. I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I really like this. This is really, really nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna just cry. Like, I, I, I'm trying to, like, get words together. It's just that we met, like you said, at the right time and at how it needed to happen. I just, it feels so fate. Yeah, it does. You know? And like Ryan said, you're just so inspirational. Yeah. And you make me feel like I can do anything. Because <laughs> you can. You really can. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. This is so bad. It's just the first <laughs> level three question. Right. Oh, my God. You're so right. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I just, I don't see a life like without you in it and it's so crazy like I never like we never were together but now I can't see my life without you like I I love you so much and you're such a we were supposed to meet you know and and I'm and like the way that just you brought like us to each other is just so crazy like I cannot get over yeah how that worked out because I was not supposed to go and like my car broke down and like everything was not going for me to go like there was no reason for me to and it just things happen in funny ways and I have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, I'm going to make it short and sweet. I 
why we met baby because we're fucking family and we are together you know yeah we love each other and i can't wait to do the rest of our lives each other but together together okay <laughs> next question please <laughs> oh wow okay this is a nice one okay, okay. <laughs> how would you describe me to a stranger okay i'm trying to imagine like specifically if Someone was like, oh, like, tell me about like your podcast co-hosts. Like, right. what are they like? Like, what would I say about Ryan? I'd be like, Ryan is so funny. Ryan <laughs> is like, you're so confident and you're so creative. I think like creative is like the number one word I would use to like describe you and also like specifically like our work relationship. Mm. Like you just bring so much creativity to everything you do. Mm -hmm. Like even with the podcast, I remember when we were like figuring out the branding and stuff and all three of us were just like, I don't, I don't like see it yet. Mm -hmm. And then you brought us the branding board with the colors and the font and the aesthetic and the seventies vibes. And we were like that, mm -hmm. like that, that's it. Like you have that creative vision. Thank you. And I think I would also describe you as um, incredibly relatable and um and, and so sure of who you are mm. that's nice <laughs> i like that i do yeah i'm trying to think um, what would i say i'd be like the funniest <laughs> great time uh, and a just loving person like just that's it right you know? yeah. and, and and like create and like sierra said about creative like you're just so creative i love that about you like in the wit yeah, and you're so funny. She's so you're, funny. You're like She's probably so the funniest funny. person I know. <laughs> and I feel like like I that that is like I I I overshadowed that with the creativity work stuff, but you're so freaking funny. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank it's you. that dang wit, man. Yeah. <laughs> like you're so quick. Yeah. I I think it's um I we talk about this all the time like I didn't realize how important like wit was to me and like a romantic relationship like mm. i need to we need to be able to like go back and back forth. and forth otherwise mm -hmm. it's not gonna work yeah the banter's fun the banter yeah, I, I need it <laughs> i need it so that was a good one thanks All guys right. very sweet <laughs> oh god oh no no you need tissues man no no not tissues oh it's good just good makes me uncomfy what do you admire most about me oh, oh. <laughs> i admire oh there are many things many things i i think i'll do three because there's a laundry list. Oh. I admire how hardworking and determined you are. Like you do so many things. You, I feel like you film like 45 videos at one time and you like <laughs> know what you know what you're doing and you are all, you're like on top of it. You know, like I, I really admire your perseverance and things. You're like, I said I was going to do this and this is what I'm doing and this is what we need to do. Tenacity. Mm -hmm. you, like, mm -hmm. like truly, truly, I really admire that. I also like, think you're like an incredible mom like mm -hmm. true watching you with grace is like so entertaining like this <laughs> this morning when we were just flipping through the, the the music and whatever just chilling with her on the couch i was just watching you it was like tv mm -hmm. and like i truly like you are such a great mom and like i, I admire you for that and like i mm -hmm. don't have children and i'm not really in the business of having children anytime soon but like if I do, like, I'm like, oh, I want to be, I'm, I'm like Sierra. Like, yeah, that's what we said. That's, that we, yeah, yeah we, we've said that multiple times. We're yeah. Like, oh, Sierra's an amazing mom. We yeah. want to be just like her. That's so yeah. sweet. That's like the, honestly, like the highest compliment. Truly, you're a great mom. Yeah. And yeah. very fun to watch. I know. I, I, I honestly <laughs> want to like add on to the admiration of like how, how, what a great mom you are. Like, you are just so amazing with Grace. And I'm like, I want to just have that same just love and lightness that you just have with her. It's just so admirable. Yeah. And just how you are with people and mm -hmm. how, like Ryan also said, like you, you, you know what needs to be done and you know how to do it. And yeah. you're just such a go-getter. Yeah. Like that is, a, you are just such a go-getter and you won't settle. Yeah. You know? Like you are like the definition of like boss bitch. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. Dead, like dead ass. Like you, that's you. Yeah, like you know what you you know what you want. You know what you're doing, and you know what needs to be done in order to get the things done. And now you have your list of what's priority, like your priorities. Like and hearing right. that is that's, inspiring. That's, that's why I was that's like, I gotta go home. Exactly. That Thank right you. there. Yeah. I, I think I've struggled with figuring out how to take that like go 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 do 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 thing into like not just always being about like what's next business success all of that mm -hmm. and i i think hearing that from you guys is very 
sweet and touching that like it you you feel like it's not just the like business side but yeah, also yeah. in priorities in life and- yeah mm-hmm. you, well, I mean being a go-getter not just like in work wise just in life you just want to see and experience everything that's at least what from my lens you just seem like the person that just wants to like explore and enjoy life to its fullest like yeah. everything that it has to offer you want to do it yeah I thank you that's very sweet yeah I I feel like I have a hard time accepting like compliments and love like that which I think is common yeah Um. so I'm I just Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. If I get another crying card, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, wild card. <clears throat> oh, this one's fun. Scroll through each other's Instagrams, find the picture you feel best represents your partner's essence, and comment why you chose that image. Oh, so we're oh. all gonna go to the Instagram, pick um one image, okay. and comment why. Oh, comment why you chose that image and best represents the essence. And we gotta describe the picture for the audio listeners. Yes. Yes. Okay. Shall we start with? Let's do girl Ryan. Or- yeah, let's do Ryan. I don't do it for myself, right? No. No, no right. Okay. <laughs> you pick the me, picture that represents me. that you I think. I like this one because I look hot. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> okay, it's the essence of Ryan. Okay. I know. I've got mine. Okay. Do you think ours are, are the same? I wonder. I wonder if they are. Okay. Ready? Let's start. One, two, two three. three. Oh, oh. That was my second choice. Oh. Okay. So the one I chose of Ryan is her at the Carousel Bar in San Diego. And you're smiling, you're in like a hot outfit and you're holding a drink. Right. And I feel like it's like, bad bitch, but I'm here to have fun. Yeah. And I love, I, I feel like that's so you. You're like, love that. you're like, yes, I'm dressed so hot and you're probably so <laughs> intimidated because I just am that, that bitch. Right. But also like, Exactly. That was going to be my first pick, but I was like, no, 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 no. I want to find like more essence. And I, the one that I chose is the one that is from our promo shoot of us three holding hands. Mm. And Ryan's just like, when I zoom in the middle, she's like literally giving, yes, let's go. I'm here for yeah. a good time, you know, like, and, I, and it's just giving Ryan. Right. It is. It's <laughs> giving Ryan. Yeah. It's self explanatory. <laughs> I love that. I think that that one I really like a lot. Because, like, you know, it's very in my element. Like, we're at a bar or whatever. got a drink in my hand. But also, like, the smile is, like, sweet. Mm-hmm. It's, like, mm-hmm. like kind of the, like the smile you give to, like, your mom. When she's, like, smile, you're, like, tea. A hundred percent. But also, you're in, like, a cool bar with the lights. Right. You're holding a drink. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then that one, too. That I mean, I remember when we actually took that photo specifically because we were like singing Legally, Legally Blonde, Blonde and like, which is like my favorite thing to do. And just were like part like we were just like throwing our hands up and just having a good time. And also we were just like living, living, yeah. laughing and loving. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> should, we, should we find Sierra's pick? Yes. OK, so the picture I chose was of Sierra holding the piece of ice when you were in Alaska <laughs> This picture brought me so much joy when I saw it. I was like, she is living her yep. best life. Like th- the joy in your face. And this is how you are with life. Just like, oh my gosh, look how sick this is. Like, I'm yep. just so happy. And just like, it's in just nature. And like, just in nature. Your, and yeah. you're just in your element. Mm-hmm. Like you just look, that's Sierra. I, that that was my first choice. Yeah. I switched it, but that's the one I was going to choose too. Okay. Because I love you had like a, just a bit, the big smile and like you were holding like, Nature when your hands. Like, yeah, that's like her favorite. Her no, favorite thing. Like, yeah. Okay. I chose a picture of you holding Grace in at the beach. Let me see which one. Because <gasps> that you was my second love one. Love the beach. You love being in the water. Grace is like your favorite thing ever. Obviously, you guys are smiling together. Like it's like your favorite things in a photo. If Stephen was there, yeah. Then he yes. took the picture. <laughs> well, ah, then there it is. But yeah, this go. one. You guys look so sweet and and cuddly and the beach like. I'm sure you jumped in the water after this photo. Like, yeah, right. that was my birthday this year. <laughs> oh. And that's, I told Stephen all I wanted for my birthday was to like go to the beach and like watch the sunset and have a cheese board. And so he like made a little cheese board and he like right. snapped that photo of us. And that that is so, both those photos I feel like are moments where I was like truly myself. I yeah. love that. I love that. Oh, we did it. We got, got it. it. We got, got good ones. We got, we got good ones. Okay, okay now me. we got to do pee. <laughs> Ooh, which one am I going to do? Do. It's hard because I feel like it's like almost her profile photo, which is like such good branding. <laughs> right. Like your profile photo is so you. Oh, I love that. Totally. You got it? I got mine. Uh, oh, my goodness. Okay. This 
picture. Oh, it's Paloma in the <laughs> merch doing a photo shoot for Ryan before we had even met. Mm-hmm. Yep. And this this is like just the Paloma I know with Aww. like your your smile is so genuine. You're like with the hand and you're just living, laughing, loving. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah. And like so carefree and just like so cute. Aww. You you really made that shoot. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Truly. <laughs> like I remember looking at this picture, just like oh, she looks so good. Wow. Like you look yeah. great. Wow. Thank you so much. Anything for the merch. <laughs> no, right. Right. Okay. The photo I chose was this one. Aww. That was my second choice. At the at the wherever this was, I can't remember Carrera the cafe. cafe yeah. Yes, because a few things. Your hair is super cute, and you know you're you're getting into your hair girly era. <laughs> There's food, your favorite thing, and your smile, like the sweet smile, like the yeah. Uh, uh, oh, I love it. <laughs> I love. I was yeah. Does Paloma not just have like the best smile in the entire world? Like the fact Absolutely. that you didn't get that Crest commercial. <laughs> Criminal. It is what criminal. were they thinking? Delusion. Oh my god. Who has a better Stop. smile? You guys. I, I don't know. Name them. The, the teeth were too big. <laughs> the teeth are perfect. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. So, thank you guys so much. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Ooh. What am I most qualified to give advice about? That's a good one. Nothing. She's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> don't take her advice. Yeah. I'm gonna say being your authentic self. Mm. Mm. If if I'm thinking about like, okay, when Grace is older, if she's like going through something and I'm like, I am not qualified to give you advice on this. You got to go. You got to go talk to someone else. And it's just like not not being true to you, not living life for you and your priorities. I would be like, Ryan, get get your ass over here. Right. Because Grace <laughs> needs to hear from you on how to like be true to yourself and mm. who you are. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I will. Grace, when you're ready, <laughs> come on over. And mine was kind of like a, along that, those lines, like you said, Sierra, where it's like having my daughter. I was like, I would want Ryan, and, and, and I just want you shamelessly to be like my, my kid's auntie, like just really just be the auntie. But the reason is because you're just so good in that role. And I feel like advice, especially for younger girls, and I, maybe it is because you have Rosalind, and yeah. so you you have that, you've worked at and you know how to speak with someone who's younger and really make them feel heard and mm-hmm. feel seen and appreciate and just give them some good advice. I think that you got some specialty with like just younger women and yeah. just like, I think that that's really beautiful. Oh, you know, if you like in a different <laughs> life, if you didn't, you know, go the route that you are with, you know, acting and social media, I could see you being such a good, like, motivational speaker and like maybe like a director of like a girl's group. Mm. Like I could see you being that person for girls, especially who don't have like a strong female figure in their life who they can go to for advice where you will give them advice. No BS hundred percent. Right. And you're there for them and you care. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I feel yeah. like, yeah. Another life like that could have been, I like kind of wanted to be like a teacher. My mom was a teacher. So I think that was, but I wanted to be a, a special needs teacher. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is like, I mean, so far off of what I'm doing now. Yeah, right. But yeah, I could see you being like a like a support group counselor. Mm. Ooh, yeah. you're the, you're like the peer leaders uniting students teacher. You're like, <laughs> <"All right."> totally. <laughs> yes, totally. Yeah. yeah, I love that. What do I need to hear right now? Ooh, you are making the right decision to. That's literally what I was gonna say. <laughs> and you taking account into your priorities and like knowing what you want and knowing what you got to do. Yeah. I was going to say you're doing everything right. Yeah. You're doing everything right. All I do need to hear that. I like, yeah. I'm such like an overthinker. I feel like everything I do, I'm like, oh my God, like this is the wrong choice. Am I doing, like, is this the right thing? Especially with social media and stuff like and stepping away from the main channel and just not spending as much time on like the internet in general as mm-hmm. I was. It's like, am I throwing away this amazing gift and opportunity I've been given? And mm-hmm. I think to, I do need to hear that like I am making the right choice. You are. You are. Check the list, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and it's clear because I know you feel better. I do. I feel so much better. Mm-hmm. So you got to be doing the right thing. Yeah. You're doing it all right. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, last last card. Last one, baby. Hit us where it hurts. Yeah. (laughs) All right, last one. Wild card. 
take a selfie together. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my god, that's cute. That's cute. That, that's good because I don't. One. I have no tears left to cry. <laughs> just like Ariana Grande. I, yeah, for real. Okay. Which How just are we doing on this? The, I got. I'm, oh, yeah, I'm you, over here on the, on the yeah. right. Yeah. I'm gonna Perfect. go far. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, wait. Let me lean in. There we go. Oh, cute. 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 Well, if you want to see our selfie, you can go follow the 20 whatever Instagram. Yes. <laughs> yes. Subtle plug. Subtle plug. Wow. That was really fun. Thanks I feel for like, bringing that game. Of yeah. course. I feel, and here's the thing it's not like I didn't know the two of you, but like I feel really, really close with you guys yeah. like right now. Me yeah. Too. This is a good game to play with like your friends, even your family. Like I said, I played this with my sister. That was like really deep. Imagine playing this with your mom. Uh, no tears left to cry. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. A, that's a cry fest. Yeah. But like, imagine how much closer you guys would feel, especially like as adults, right? Like, that's a that could really take your relationship to the next level. Yeah. yeah. And you know, I think this would be such a good game for people to play with a partner when they're like considering taking that next step, whether it's like getting married, moving in together. Yep. They have a couples expansion pack, and Oof. I've heard incredible things about I it. I want to get it. You should. Ooh. And they, they have a family pack too that my mom just bought. Oh, yeah. Aww. And like you're you're right. You told me about the family pack. So then you, your mom with like like siblings. Oh my god! Imagine yeah. when Grace is older and you can like really strengthen that yeah. bond. With or you questions. could play that with like your like if you guys have your parents over or something yes. like that. Your brother. Like you could really like that'd be so good. Be so awesome. Uh, emotions. This one's yeah. really uh. <laughs> this was. I didn't. I don't. I knew it was gonna be like you know, like fun and like. A little deep, but I did not expect to like cry like that. I know. <laughs> I really I, the the tears came so suddenly for yeah. me when you started talking about like why we met and like oh, I just oof. yeah yeah there was no I feel like usually when I cry I feel like that build, can, the build up there no, was, was no like, build tears boom <laughs> here they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.